and welcome to Take 5 with the Regional Chamber. I'm Kim Calvert. Last week, we recognized six people who are making a difference in the Valley. Our 2024 Salute to Business Breakfast drew a sold-out crowd of more than 600 people, the highest attendance since 2007, to the Eastwood Event Center in Niles. Keynote speaker Robert Schlager of the Foxconn Technology Group spoke about what drew the EV company to Ohio and, more specifically, the Valley. He listed several key reasons for the decision to take over the former GM Lordstown facility. One, Ohio's centralized geography within the North American supply chain and rich history for automobile manufacturing. Number two, Foxconn's proximity to our Wisconsin campus where, to date, Foxconn has invested nearly $2 billion in five years with over a thousand employees. Number three, Ohio's business-friendly climate and institutions such as Guy Coviello, this chamber, his team, and others such as Jobs Ohio, Bright, Lake to River. We also had the pleasure of presenting six awards to business, nonprofit, and labor leaders here in the Valley. Talia Hagler introduces you to our recipients. We kicked off this year's Salute to Business Breakfast with the Business Professional of the Year Award. Greg Teporser owns several businesses with his wife. His latest endeavor is Top Property Holdings. They're creating North Jackson Commerce Park, which will bring much needed manufacturing and distribution space to the Valley. Love the Valley, love this area. But what jobs are gonna be here, right? So we start thinking, and the, and the industrial park kind of sparked that idea of what, what can we create around here that we can keep people coming out of college and working working and staying in the Valley. And But we need those jobs, right? We need companies to move in here to have, so they have those opportunities. And that's kind of the big stem of the, the industrial park. Next up was the Business Advocate of the Year Award. Kristen Olmey is CEO of KO Consulting. She took her years of experience as the grants coordinator for Mahoning County and turned it into a thriving community and economic development company, helping businesses, nonprofits, and municipalities. My goal is to, you know, focus Lake to River in Northeast Ohio on revitalizing, you know, the macro and the micro of the economy. The next award went to Ronell Elkins, president of Yogo Bike Share. He was honored as the Entrepreneur of the Year for his role in the e-bike sharing platform. In just four months, the Youngstown-based business has 500 users and 1,000 completed rides. What gets me excited is when I still see people riding the bikes. Like, it's almost like the first time me seeing it, it's like, wow, we brought something to our city that people are using. Next, we recognize Sweet Melissa's Good Eats owner, Melissa Poland, with the Small Business Professional of the Year Award. Melissa has grown her restaurant from a startup to a two-store operation with a third on the way. People ask me all the time, did you ever think it was going to get this big? And absolutely not. Um, I had a lot of people, and, and they were nice about it, but at the very beginning, you know, I had people telling me, it's just not going to fly. You're not going to be able to sell salads in this area. And six months into us being here at our Boardman location, my landlord actually came to me and said, hey, you, you're pretty much filling up this parking lot out there. We think you need more space. Dion Dowdy Lacey, Executive Director of United Returning Citizens, was the recipient of the Nonprofit Professional of the Year Award. Dion started the nonprofit 10 years ago to help people who are returning from incarceration move towards self sufficiency. I love my community and I love my city. And I do believe in our men within this city. And we know it's a lot of broken homes and uh, uh, dysfunctional uh, relationships. And we really would love, I would really see, want to see uh, healthy relationships. I want the well-being of people. I want people to be able to make it, to be able to take care of their families. Finally, our last award of the morning was the Salute to Labor Achievement, given to Antonio Di Tommaso Jr., or Tony, with Carpenters Local 171. Tony and his brothers followed in their father's footsteps joining the union, and he is proud to have dedicated his life to the community they serve. What the union to me is those people that want to band together to help their brothers and sisters. They want to do for the community. They want to raise up a group. They want to help people get their start in life and uh, get a good paying job, in which they can uh, afford a nice house, uh, uh, good vehicles, be able to maybe help their children do better. Congratulations to all of our 2024 Salute to Business Award recipients.
recipients. For Take 5 with the Regional Chamber, I'm Talia Hagler. We also honored with our Valley Champion Award, Sarah O'Brien, a Brookfield native who opened three little tart bake shops in Atlanta. To go from one employee, me, and one market table to over 80 employees and five stores is a pretty remarkable journey, especially for someone who has never taken a business class and got a degree in comparative literature and poetry. Here's the thing. It turns out everything I needed to know to run a successful business, I learned on a 100-acre farm in Brookfield, Ohio, from the four people who raised me. Before we leave you today, we'd like to let you know about a big change that's in the works. We will be rebranding Take 5 with the Regional Chamber, and we'll be launching a new version on October 10th. Thank you for your support over the years, and stay tuned for new features and stories starting next month. With the Regional Chamber, I'm Kim Calvert. Take 5 with the Regional Chamber is produced by Mahoning Valley Productions, where we tell your stories.